so my air conditioner stopped working and this is a Bryant furnace and I'm just gonna show some people how to fix this because it's a quick fix I got a fuse here that's blown and how I located that it was the fuse was when this door is shut the LED light or whatever you want to call that on your motherboard will blink you don't have to have a Bryant furnace this is a very common thing where like 90% of all furnaces do this when your things when your furnace is not working and that's blinking it's usually through this little door right here and you could see it light up so what it was doing was I'll show you guys real quick it's gonna flash twice and then pause and then flash four more times which means that's two four and what you're gonna do after you see you figured out your Morse code or whatever you want to call it on 2-4, you're going to go to this panel. And I'm going to stay still on that panel just in case you guys can't find um, what your panel is about. So I'm going to hold still there. So you're going to locate 2-4, which is down here. And it says secondary voltage fuse is open. Check for short circuit and secondary voltage. So what I did was removed my paneling, which is this panel here. There's a little twisty thing right there where I, oh sorry, right there and I untwisted it and that whole panel comes right off. And then after that, I had two screws in here. You got one here and one here and then this panel came off. Once the panel is off, it will stop um, flashing. This is a little switch. This is just for the beginners, people who usually know this. Um, that door holds this shut which when you remove the door, all power is off. Usually you'll have something similar to that or a button somewhere hiding or whatever. Um, before you ever work on this though, you're gonna wanna turn this off just in case. You don't wanna get zapped and die. Um, so this is your motherboard here. And what I did is I, I tried to look at it and look for fuses that might have been blown or any blown parts on my circuit board. A lot of people don't know this, but you can pick these um, circuit boards up if you got time. You could find them all over the internet. Just make sure it's exactly the same one. They usually have model numbers, like that's my model number right there. Anyways, located the fuse and I removed it, and you could see it's not transparent, but you could see that little mark right there, and that's blown. It's a number three. And I looked over here and I could just see that it was separated. I don't know if you guys could see that. Yeah, you could right there. And I'm going to go to the auto port store and put this back in. And if everything works good, it should work. This should fix your problem. If your fuse is still blowing, check your filter or something. The reason I got this problem, my wife actually turned off the uh, air conditioner. And then it was working because she made it get like 85 degrees in the house. And we usually keep it at 74. So maybe it was overworking and really trying to fight and my filter was dirty, so this could have caused this short circuit, or it could have been other problems. Also, when you're near your furnace, this is just something I'm gonna throw in there. This drips the condensation, and I sealed this sucker every way I could, and it still drips. So what I came up with is a little plastic tarp so the water drips over the edge, and this is a very common thing that happens where water gets on that motherboard, and then your motherboard will fry. Mine previously fried, and the guy who was coming to fix it um, left a magnet here. So I put the magnet on this little tarp so the water now drips here and here. I guess I could fix this darn thing, but I'm telling you, I replaced all the pipes and the thing still dripped. I don't know where the heck it's coming from. It's probably way deep in there. Maybe there's a crack. I'm not sure about it. Anyways, instead of... Uh, I got an easy fix there is what that is right there. <laughs> so just make sure if you got condensation dripping down into your furnace. I had another house like 10 years prior and the same darn thing happened. Came home from vacation and the darn thing leaked all over and got my, mother, my motherboard all wet. So anyways, hope this video helped you out. All I ask is give me a quick thumbs up if this video helped you on replacing your um, fuse or fixing your furnace. Thanks for watching.